Today, we're marking four years since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. In New York, the State Department of Health confirmed the first coronavirus case on March 1st, 2020. Days later, on March 4th, New Jersey had its first confirmed case. And four years ago today, March 11th, the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a global pandemic. A report just out on New Jersey's COVID response found there's room for improvement. CBS 2's Nick Calloway spoke with the man who led this independent review. We collectively failed as a nation as, and as a state to be adequately prepared. Attorney and former federal prosecutor Paul Zubek was tasked with figuring out what went wrong and what was done well before and during the COVID-19 pandemic. The 910-page report faults planning, communication, and decision-making in Washington and Trenton. For example, state and federal governments had grossly insufficient supplies of personal protective equipment, or PPE, for healthcare workers. The cupboard was bare. The report concluded that after the initial wave that devastated New Jersey, officials got some things right. Some of the aggressive steps taken by New Jersey through closures and a massive vaccination effort resulted in New Jersey moving to a, a, a much lower death rate compared to other states. But the aggressive closures had a devastating and unprecedented impact on our economy. Zubek said state leaders should have pushed local school districts to reopen by the fall of 2020. Investigators also agreed with a scathing federal report that found nursing homes, including state-run veterans homes, were grossly mismanaged. Regina Constantino's father died in the Menlo Park veterans home. Her mother died six months later. She reacted to the new report. It's very sad that the Menlo Park Veterans Home could not take care of our veterans who served in our military and deserved better care, and this should never, ever happen again. Governor Murphy said in a statement, quote, the report both highlights numerous examples of New Jersey's strong leadership during the crisis and identifies gaps in preparedness and structural deficiencies that must be addressed. That report includes hundreds of recommendations for New Jersey officials moving forward. It's meant to serve as a playbook so the state is better prepared for the next health crisis. In Trenton, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News. And we did ask Governor Murphy for an interview about the report. So far, no word back.